everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really easy, really quick and really simple crochet bralette with the really cute um, scallop edging detail. I'll insert like a little overlay here so you can see a bit more of a close up of the bralette. subscribe there will be weekly crochet tutorials um, on my channel which is perfect if you're in lockdown and looking to learn a new skill like I say this is really easy and if you're a complete beginner this is the perfect tutorial for you because it's really easy to follow really easy to do and yeah so let's get started right so for this tutorial you're gonna need some yarn of your choice um, I've just gone for white and I think I probably have like a ball and a half's worth here-ish. Um, you'll need about 100 grams but I've just got some scraps that were left over. Obviously pick the colour that you want um, to make the bralette in. Um, I've just gone for white because I think it goes with more. And then you'll also need a crochet hook. I'm just going to go for the 3.5mm crochet hook from my pack um, and that's literally all you need to get started. Really simple, really easy um, and you literally just need two things. So without further ado we're just going to crack straight on um, and get going. So we're going to start off by making the two cups um, and for that you'll need to start off by making a slip stitch just like that and then you're going to want to create a chain that is long enough to reach from the bottom of your boob I guess to like the middle of your nipple or just past your nipple so it's big enough to cover you. Um, I'm making a size small and I do roughly around 16 chains. Um, I find that that is big enough. Remember that we're going to be working outwards as well um, so it will get bigger as you go along although it will look fairly small to start off with. Remember the size of your chain will differ um, depending on whatever size you are um, and I would say it's best to just sort of hold it up against you um, and go by those sorts of measurements. Uh, that tends to be what I do and it tends to work quite well. Now that we have our initial chain we're going to go back on this chain using a double crochet. Um, if you're watching this in America then this will be a single crochet but if you're watching it in the UK then it will be a double crochet. I'm going to go fairly slow so you can see what I'm doing but I will speed it up. So you go in through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Just like that and that's your double crochet. Like I say in America this is called a single crochet and you're just going to do that for the length of your um, first chain that you've just created. Once you've done your first row of double crochet you're going to chain one, flip your work and you're going to do exactly the same again. You're going to go in all of the stitches with another double crochet until you get to the end. Um, so I will meet you back at the end. Like I say, the amount of change you actually have will be dependent on the size you are. I find it's best to just sort of lay it over your boob um, and measure it that way. I think that's the easiest way to do it and it's the most accurate way to do it as well. Um, so I'll meet you back at the end once we have done another row of um, double crochet. So now you're done with your single row of crochet, we're going to flip the work vertically so it's like that and your work should look something a bit like this. It looks tiny at the moment and like it will never be a bra, um, but I promise it will. So yeah, you're going to flip it vertically um, like that. What we're going to do is we're going to create three um, triple crochets in the very middle stitch just here. Um, if you're in America this will be a double crochet, but yeah, three um, triple crochets in the middle stitch just here. You need to make sure that they're all in the same uh, stitch, as this is quite important because you will start to build your cup um, on from this. So once you have done three triple crochets in that one stitch, you'll kind of have like this point going on or like a curved edge. Um, at the top and this will create the point of your triangle uh, cup. Now we've created our point we're going to go back on ourselves and double crochet on the opposite side to what we were just working on um, to start creating our cups. We want to go all the way down in another row of double crochet and I will meet you at the bottom. So once you've done your next row of double crochet um, don't worry if your work starts to curve it will flatten out um, as it gets bigger. We are now going to chain one we're going to flip our work, I've just, so I've just flipped my work over and you guessed it, we're going to do another row of double crochet all the way along. Then when we get to the top we're going to do three treble crochets in this very top stitch. And you want to make sure that you go into this very first stitch that you created. When you don't go into this first stitch or you don't chain one, uh, you may find that your work starts to curve um, or it loses shape. So you want to make sure that you go into that first stitch. So I've just finished that next row of double crochet and I've reached the point again so what we do now is we flip the work vertically and we do three treble crochets in this top stitch just here exactly like we did the last time so go through, pull through two loops, 
pull through two loops just like that so you've created a deep point again so we're going to do the exact same process again um, until the cup fits you basically until it fits your boob so we've done the three treble crochets here I'll go through it with you once more again we're going to double crochet down this side again we're going to chain one when we get to the end and then we'll double crochet up again treble crochet into the middle stitch double crochet down and you're basically working in that triangular shape pattern the entire way through your cup so you're going down chain one around chain one around chain one until you have your cup basically and like I say you're going to work in this way until you have the cup that fits your boob and obviously you want to make two of these um, because we're making a bra. So I'll meet you back at the end when we have two cups to start on the next section. So as you can see the piece is starting to grow now and I guess you can kind of see um, the process of it a little bit better. When I actually asked my mum um, to guess what I was making she said that this reminded her, or not reminded her, she said that this looked like it was going to be a willy cover so uh, make what you will of that but I promise this will start to look a bit more like a cup now. You're just going to keep the same process going around like this. It is a bit different to normal crochet because you're worth because you're working vertically instead of like that or like corner to corner um, but yeah it is fairly easy once you get the knack of it if I've gone too quickly on the cups I do plan on making a whole video on how to um, make cups correctly and size them correctly um, but until then I will try and find a video which is a bit of a slower process of how you make the cups and I will leave it in the description box below or on the like information box at the top here um, right now for you so you can see now that it's starting to look much more like a cup and less like a willy warmer as my mum would say. So you can tell obviously this is going to be the very first cup. I would say if this is your first time at making something like this I would count how many stitches and how many rows you do just so you can get the same one exactly the same. I'm just sort of playing it by eye, playing it by eye, um, doing it by eye. Um, and I sort of know my size anyway. I'm about 32C and about 10 like repetitions tends to be um, what I need to do. But that will of course differ depending on your size. So I'm just finishing off my first um, cup. I'm just literally doing the last stitch now. So we now have our very first cup. I've literally just um, tied it off at the end, made a little knot at the end of it. And we're gonna repeat this exact same process to create our second cup. Um, the same process, chain the same amount of stitches and do the repetitions. Um, working vertically around it and I will meet you back at the end of the next cup when we'll move on to creating the bottom half of the bra um, and the straps. Okay so now you should have two cups that look a bit like this and you'll obviously have one that's still attached that you've just finished and one that you finished earlier. Now what we're going to do is start to create the first strap. Pop one to the side and on the one that you're working on you're going to want to chain enough stitches to reach from the cup around your rib cage. Again this will differ for everyone. I tend to find about 30 chains is enough. Again it's better to do more than to do less because you want it to fit. Um, and of course it doesn't really matter if it goes a bit longer it would just cover more of your back. So I'm going to do that now. Okay so I've just done up my chain of 30 stitches and this will be the section that wraps around you so that goes around your rib cage. I guess you can start to see it. And what we're going to do now is go back on this chain with a slip stitch to do that across the whole of this until you reach back here or reach back here even. Um, and then when you get to here you're going to want to continue slip stitching all the way to the end of this cup and then I will show you what to do next. So I've just slip stitched across my first set of chains and I'm just going to do exactly the same again across the bottom of my bra to the, to the very end. Um, this, this bit is slightly more um, trickier to make sure that you get in every stitch but again it's the same process. It's literally as simple as popping the needle into the stitch, pulling through and the only difference is, is that you're not wrapping the yarn around, you're literally just pulling through that stitch on the hook. So you just slip stitch until the very end of the cup. Okay so I've just slip stitched across the bottom, bottom of my cup. Um, and then I've just inserted my hook onto the very first stitch of the second cup because now what we're going to want to do is attach them and again that's just going to be done by a slip stitch so I've just popped my hook through the gap I'm going to pull the yarn through and then pull through the um, stitch that I have on the hook already just like that and that's literally all you do to attach them and what we're going to do is like we did with the previous cup go through every stitch with a slip stitch um, until you get to the end and then when you get to the end we're going to want to create another chain of 30 stitches or however many stitches it is to reach around your rib cage. Um, so when you get to the very end of the second cup which is just here you're going to create another row of chains. Okay so I've just finished slip stitching across the second cup and you should have something that looks a bit like this. You've got the start of a bra, two straps and now what we're going to do is go back across the chain that you've just made with a 
double crochet and not only are you going to go across this chain, you're also going to go across the bottom of the bra, um, both cups, all the way to the um, second chain. So you're going to want to double crochet all the way along um, to create a base for the scallop. As you can see here, I'm just going in with a double crochet. In America, this is a single crochet, so you're just going to pull through and pull through two loops. So again, quite slowly, you put, pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over pull through two loops and you're just going to repeat this whole process all the way to the end of the other strip. Okay so I've just finished that row of um, double crochet across the whole of my bra. I did switch to a slightly smaller hook, um, just the 2.25mm hook as sometimes I find that the bottom of the bra can be quite hard to get into if I'm using my um, 3mm hook uh, but you don't have to do that you can just stick with one hook. Um, so now I've got to the end of the second strap what I'm going to do is just chain one and I'm going to do exactly the same again, go across the entire bra with a double crochet until the other end. Okay, so now we should have two rows of a double crochet at the bottom of our bra and it should look something a bit like this. And now we're on to the most exciting part which is creating the shells, scallops, whatever you want to call them. Um, the bottom half of the design, which is probably like the trickiest part of the design. I say tricky, it's actually still really easy, but yes. What we're going to do now is we're going to chain two, so one, two, I'm going to make a triple crochet in the very first stitch just here, so I'm going to wrap my yarn around, pop it through the stitch, pull through, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and then I'm going to chain one, and then we're going to make another triple crochet in the same exact stitch, so three, did I say triple or double? We're creating another triple crochet in exactly the same stitch. So what we've done just there is create, I guess, half or like a mini um, shell stitch, a mini scallop, whatever you would like to call it. Um, as it is on the end, it won't be a whole one, um, but there will be whole ones obviously along the bottom as you go along. But like I say, that's just um, a half to get you started. Now what you want to do is chain one. So then what you're going to do is skip two stitches, so one, two, and you're going to go into the third stitch just here. And then you're going to make three um, treble crochets in three consecutive stitches. Like I said, we're going to go into the third stitch with a treble crochet, like so. We're going to go into the next two stitches with another treble crochet, just like so. And it should look something a bit like this. You skip the stitches and you've gone into three consecutive um, stitches with a treble crochet and you should have something that looks a bit like that. So after that we're going to do the same again. We're going to chain one, skip two stitches. So we are going into the third stitch with a treble crochet um, and this is where it gets a little bit different. So we pop it in, do our treble crochet and then this time we're actually going to chain three, so one, two, three. Then into the same stitch again, you're going to create the treble crochet, just like so. And then you've made this kind of like open scallop, open shell um, stitch. So after you've made your first shell stitch, you're going to chain one, skip two stitches, and then treble crochet into the third stitch. So we're going to again do this into three consecutive stitches, so around, just like so, and I guess you can kind of start to see the pattern forming or how, oh god, and I guess you can start to see how the pattern is forming and what it is going to look like. We have the three consecutive stitches, then we have an open shell, then we have another three consecutive stitches like so, and it's going to repeat like this the whole way along the bottom of the bra, so I'll just go through it again with you. So we're going to chain one, so I've chained one, we're going to skip the first two stitches, into the third stitch we're going to go, which is just here, like so, treble crochet in there, and then like we did to make the open shell stitch, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then treble crochet into that exact same stitch once again. So like I say, this is the pattern that it's going to start to create. Um, and you're just going to repeat this process the whole way through. So this is what the first row should look like. You have your pillars and your um, 
open shell stitches and if you go all the way along it doesn't really matter if you end on a shell stitch or on um, a set of your pillars. I ended up on a shell stitch and then in the very last stitch um, you'll always end by doing a triple crochet in the very end stitch regardless of the um, pattern. So now you're done with the very first row we are just going to, I finished with a double crochet, uh, I finished with a treble crochet, I'm just going to chain two, like so. Okay, so this is where the pattern again changes a little bit. So every time you reach an open shell stitch, you're going to create seven triple crochets in this one open shell stitch here. So if I just show you what I mean by that, um, so I've chained my two stitches, I've ended on an open shell stitch, so I'm going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, through two and I'm going to do this seven times so one two three four five six seven so this will create a scallop scallop, whatever you want to call it, scallops are food, and um, so this will create your first scallop um, and every time you reach an open shell stitch you're going to do seven crochets into that open shell stitch. So you should have something that looks a bit like this, you can see the shape starting to form now. So once you've done that you're going to chain one and you're going to want to go over to the three pillar stitches that you made in the previous row. And then you want to find the middle stitch, you're going to want to find the middle stitch and chain one treble crochet on the very middle stitch. So I'm going around picking up the middle stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, like so. So you're creating like another pillar stitch in the middle of the three. And then you're probably gonna pick it up quite quickly now. You're going to chain one, reach on over to the next open shell stitch and you're going to do another seven treble crochets into that open shell stitch just like we did before, exactly the same. Um, if you want bigger or smaller scallops then adjust the amount of treble crochets that you do in the open um, shell stitch it's completely like a design style however you want to have it um, I find between five and seven always works best um, for, for me and what I quite like seven and then we're just going to do the same again we're going to chain one find the middle pillar and do one treble crochet in that middle pillar chain chain one and seven double crochets in the open shell and we're just going to repeat this across the whole of the bottom edge of our bra and it will look something like this when you get to the end um, of the bra. So I've just finished the first row of scallops um, and your work should look something a bit like this. It should start to come together a bit now. So I've just got to the end of my row. I finished on a scallop stitch and then I just went in to the very last stitch with a with another uh, treble crochet, it's really important to go into the um, very last stitch just so that the pattern is even all the way along. And then what you want to do is chain three, so one, two, three, and what you're basically going to do is create the very first um, open scallops and the posts again, and you're going to repeat posts and open shells with the scallops, so you're going to repeat this very first row next, so I've just chained three, and then you want to create the three um, consecutive Post, posts again like we did in the first row, so yarn over, one, two, three, and then you're going to chain one, and then you're going to reach on over to this single um, triple crochet which we made in the posts and you're going to create an open shell stitch like exactly the same process um, as we did it first time round so yarn over do a treble crochet in that exact stitch in the middle so one and then you're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to treble crochet into the exact same stitch and you're just repeating the first set the first section of the pattern again so I'll just go through it once more with you I'm going to chain one and then every time you get to a scallop you're going to do three consecutive stitches in like the middle section of the scallop so I've chained one I'm just going in going in with three consecutive um, treble crochets to create those pillars again like so and 
and you're going to do this every time you reach a scholar, every time you reach a single pillar, you're going to create an open shell stitch in exactly the same way that we have been doing throughout and you're going to repeat this all the way until you get to the end of the pattern where we will recreate the scallops again um, and we're just going to carry on repeating this pattern. Okay so I've just done the next row and you can really see the pattern starting to come along. So what you've done here, um, you're going to repeat the entirety of the rest of the bra and it is really quick and easy to pick up so now we've repeated the first row we're going to repeat the scallop row so again when you get to the pillars of three you're going to create a single treble crochet and then when you get to the open shell stitch you're going to do seven treble crochets um, and then you're going to repeat this across the bottom and you're literally going to repeat those first two rows for the rest of your bra um, so if you need to like rewind and watch how I did the first two rows then go for it um, and I will meet you back at the end when we have the bottom section of the bra and I forgot to mention again it this is completely subjective as to how big you want it um, again just sort of like measure it on yourself um, if you want it more of a crop top do more rows of the scallops um, and if you want it more more as a bralette just do fewer rows um, so yeah, like I said, you're going to repeat the first two rows over and over again until you have your desired length and shape of your bra. Okay guys, so you should now have something that looks much more like a bra. Um, like I say, however many um, scallops or pattern you decide to do is entirely um, up to you, depending on how long. If you wanted to be more of a crop top, I would suggest doing more. I've done about three repetitions, um, so it's more of a bralette, but like I say, it's entirely up to you how you do it. So now what we're going to do is effectively the bra is done um, we just need to do these straps and then you will be able to wear it. Um, so for the straps I like to create like a panel for the chains to go onto. It's literally just a case of double crochets and then it, each row of double crochet you will decrease a couple of stitches and then we're going to chain our first strap. So um, this is the one that I did uh, previously just so you can see what it is that I'm actually doing. Um, but we're going to move on to the other end and I will show you um, how we create this triangular panel for our strap to um, sit on. So I've just attached my yarn um, because obviously this was the end that I didn't finish on or the end that I started on so I didn't have the extra yarn to start off with. So we're going to do a row of double crochet across the whole of this um, section. So I've just done my first row of double crochet. Um, like I say, I do this because I think it sits better on the body, you don't have to do this, you can literally just create your chain um, through the middle, but I find the ends curl and it doesn't look as good. So yeah, just on my first row of double crochet, and if you remember me saying we're now going to decrease as we go along, so instead of going into this very first stitch here, we're actually going to go into the second stitch. So, and we're going to do the same process, it's still double crochets, um, we're just skipping a stitch essentially to create a triangle to work from. And we're just going to double crochet across the whole row and then when we get to the last stitch we're not going to do that stitch um, and we're going to just repeat this process until we have one stitch left so i will just show you this one so you get the gist of it um i could have done with a smaller needle for this to be honest because i am struggling so instead of going into that final stitch just here we're just going to flip our work and go into the next stitch along so essentially at the start of the row you're going to skip a stitch and at the end of the row you're going to skip a stitch um, double crochet all the way along until you and you're going to repeat this process until you're left with just one stitch so now we've got to the point where we have a base to work from and what we're going to do now is create the second half of the strap which will go around um, and tie up your back so you want to make this long enough to go around your back and to tie in a bow. It can be as long as you want if you want a bigger bow or it can be as short as you want, entirely up to you. I tend to do between 100 and 150 chains. Um, with this, it's better for it to be longer than for it to be um, too short because obviously if it's too short, you won't be able to tie it. We're just gonna chain as many stitches as we need for this. Really simple, really easy. If you want, you can go back on this with a slip stitch or a double crochet um, if you wanted to be a bit more sturdier. Depending on what piece I'm doing, with this piece, I find that just a chain stitch works quite nicely because it's quite a dainty bra, like there's not much to it anyway. Um, and if I go in with a um, treble crochet or double crochet, um, I don't think it looks as good and I think it looks a little bit clunky. However, if I'm doing a 
bigger top or a bigger piece um, I would suggest going back on it with a single crochet just to make it a bit sturdier. So I have just finished creating the um, both of the bases and both of the chains which will go around the body and your work should now look like this and you should be able to tie it around your back um, securely. And now what we're going to do is the very last part of the bra and we're going to create the straps which will tie around your neck exactly the same way as you created these chains. You don't need a base for this, you literally just go from the very top stitch of your cup um, and chain as many chains as you need for it to reach around your neck. Again, I tend to do between 100 and 150 um, for it to reach around my neck and tie. So we're just going to chain as many stitches as we need and we're going to do this on both sides like so. Okay, so I've literally just finished my straps which are going around my neck and as you can see now, I have finished my bra. It's kind of hard to hold it up, but it should look something a bit like this. You've got your cups, you've got your um, scalloped edging and you have your straps and it should look something a bit like this on and that is the bralette done um, and it should look something a bit like this so thank you all for watching make sure you like comment subscribe um, to keep up with future tutorials I've also linked to my Instagram and other social medias down below so make sure you do tag me if you end up recreating this um, and make sure to follow me to keep up with updates and things like that um, and I will see you all next Sunday for another tutorial thank you very much